One of the most valuable EO-based information products produced operationally by Agriculture Canada is the annual space-based crop inventory for Canada. This information product, which is updated annually and available free of charge to the public via the Government of Canada's open data portal, comprises a gridded map of the agricultural land use and non-agricultural land cover found within Canada's agricultural extent. While the earliest versions of the crop inventory focused on the mapping of Canada's prairie provinces, subsequent versions have included the whole country. By providing highly accurate field level information on detailed crop types, pasture and grassland, the crop inventory is an important foundational data set for supporting the development of programs and policy at Agriculture Canada. Beyond Agriculture Canada, the crop inventory provides important land use information for other departments of the Government of Canada, various provincial governments, producers, non-governmental organisations, universities and colleges, the private sector and the public. The annual crop inventory is created by the application of classification methodologies that were developed and customised in-house at Agriculture Canada. Original versions of the crop inventory used a classification methodology based on the application of decision trees. This was primarily due to its successful implementation in various land use classifications compared to other supervised classification approaches and especially its operational application to the annual crop data layer of the United States of America. More recently, Agriculture Canada switched its focus to use random forest classification approaches. Random Forest has performed particularly well in agricultural monitoring and high classification accuracies have been obtained for cropland sites not only in Canada but also elsewhere in the world. Since 2009, Agriculture Canada has created its crop inventory by applying Random Forest to various combinations of optical and SAR imagery using discriminate functions estimated empirically from hundreds of thousands of ground-based training data samples. The random forest method is preferred because of its advantages over other methods and particular reference to Agriculture Canada operations, its demonstrated ability to handle discrete data, its processing speed, its independence of the distribution of class signatures, its interpretable classification rules, its cost effectiveness and demonstrated higher accuracies. Agriculture Canada has also incorporated advanced options such as pruning and boosting into the decision tree classification process to improve the accuracy of the algorithm. Agriculture Canada performs its annual random forest classifications on a region by region basis. This is because the dynamic nature of crop rotations, crop growth and harvest patterns create significant reflectance differences between adjacent satellite scenes within the temporal period encompassed by scene availability. While each classification region combines several dates of optical and SAR imagery, the actual combination of imagery per region can vary based on data availability. Region by region classification should always be a consideration of any agency attempting to perform large scale national mapping. Research suggests that optical and SAR satellite data are both required to adequately characterize the key crop growing stages required for high accuracy crop mapping at a national scale across Canada. This is because both optical and SAR data streams provide unique and valuable information relating to plant growth and type. Optical imagery is important because observations acquired in the near infrared and shortwave infrared regions of the electromagnetic spectrum have been shown to be extremely useful for differentiating among crop types. Dual polarization SAR data is much more sensitive to plant structure than optical data and is also able to fill gaps in the optical image record brought about by non-ideal weather conditions during key growth stages. In Canada, such weather often occurs around the Great Lakes and in the Maritime provinces where cloud cover is more of a problem. Results from research and operations have shown that the integration of SAR can increase accuracies over the use of optical data alone, especially in the Maritimes and around the Great Lakes. For example, the addition of the dual polarization radar SAT 2 data to optical imagery has increased overall accuracies by as much as 16%.